Good evening. Thanks for joining us. Hurricane season is about seven weeks away, but today Colorado State University is giving its forecast. Scientists forecasting a lower than average hurricane season. This on the heels of that low in the Gulf that brought us some wind and rain. Tonight, Bill Snyder brings us what local emergency management officials are saying about the storm that wasn't and why they take today's prediction numbers with a grain of salt. Thursday started off wet, windy and cool. But despite that low pressure coming out of the Gulf of Mexico, there were no major impacts here in South Mississippi. It's still slightly above normal, but it is coming down. In the wintertime, we do have lows that will develop in the Gulf, and uh, those will move across our area. Typical wintertime weather. We're starting to transition out of that now. That's one piece of good news that came out of Thursday. The other was the below normal predictions from Colorado State University on the 2023 hurricane season. We're looking at a near to slightly below uh, level of tropical activity this year. Despite those lower than average numbers predicted for this summer, Matt Stratton with Harrison County EMA says that doesn't mean he and others are going to take the summer off. Even in a quote unquote slow year, uh, it only takes one storm to affect your community. So in the analysis for Colorado State's uh, forecast for this year, they compared this year's environment and conditions to past years, and uh, this year is similar in some ways to 1969. That's the year Camille roared ashore in South Mississippi. So despite the good news concerning those prediction numbers, those in charge of emergency management say we still need to be prepared for whatever Mother Nature throws at us this summer. Even though we're expecting near normal conditions to slightly below normal, uh, we definitely have to be ready. Here in Gulfport, Bill Snyder, WLOX News Now. And MEMA and other state outlets are also reminding homeowners to make sure they have flood insurance if they live in low-lying areas before it's too late to get that insurance.